Hello viewers, this video is the second part of sodium benzoate analysis which represents the details about the instrumental analysis using HPLC. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. We have fragmented the video into six steps. Like as mobile phase, standard and instrument preparation, sodium benzoate analysis, chromatogram analysis and calculation. We need a balance machine, computerized HPLC system, membrane filtration unit, sonicator bath, acetonitrile, glacial acetic acid, sodium acetate, sodium benzoate reference standard and deionized water. Let's prepare the only mobile phase, acetate buffer and acetonitrile solution. Take about 200 ml deionized water into a 500 ml volumetric flask. Add 0.5 ml glacial acetic acid into the flask. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Take weight of 0.5 gram sodium acetate trihydrate and add into the flask. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Add enough water to make the final volume of 500 ml. Measure 400 ml acetate buffer solution and transfer into another 500 ml volumetric flask. Measure 100 ml HPLC grade acetonitrile and mix with the 400 ml of acetic buffer solution. Swirl the flask to mix the content. Now sonicate and degas the prepared solution for 10 minutes using ultrasonicator bath. After sonication, filter the solution using membrane filter of pore size 0.2 micrometer. Mobile face is now ready.
the mobile face is kept in the A channel of the HPLC system. Now we will prepare sodium benzoate standard solution. Dissolve 10 mg sodium benzoate analytical standard in deionized water and volume to 100 ml. Let's go for the instrument preparation. Instrumental conditions are shown in the display. So let's set the HPLC system accordingly. This is the HPLC machine connected with the computer. This is auto sampler for the injection of sample. This is the column compartment and the C18 column is connected with it. This is the UV VIS detector chamber and this is the data acquisition software. Chromatographic conditions are shown in the display. We must ensure these conditions before the analysis of sodium benzoate. Let's make the instrument ready. Turn on the HPLC instrument and open the data acquisition software in the computer. Connect pump module, auto sampler, column oven and detector chamber. We kept mobile phase in A channel, so set the flow of A channel as 100%. Set the flow rate at 1 ml per minute. Purge the flow if needed. Wash prime syringe. Wash buffer loop. Wash needle externally. Turn the UV lamp on. Set the wavelength at 254 nanometer. Set the column oven temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. Now we are ready for sodium benzoate analysis. Go to data option. Create a sequence. Save the sequence by the test name. Now we have to create an instrument method for this analysis. You can set the runtime at 10 minutes. Write the name of the mobile face at A channel. Remove the equilibrium stage. Now set the flow rate and flow percent during the runtime. Set the column oven temperature at 37 degrees Celsius. Set the wavelength at 254 nanometer. The instrument method is created successfully. Review the instrument method if you want. Click on save icon and save the instrument method by the test name. Now select the newly created instrument method in the sequence. Now create a processing method. Select the newly created processing method in the sequence. Now select the instrument method and processing method for all the tests in the sequence. 
Rename the first test name as standard 100 ppm. Rename the second test name as sample 1 and delete the third test as we don't have any other sample to analyze. Keep the injection volume at 20 microliter and keep the status idle. Save the sequence. Add the sequence to queue. Go to the queue and click on Ready Check. If the Ready Check result shows successful, then click on Start to start the instrumental analysis of vitamin C. You can see first test status is running. Auto sampler is taking 20 microliter is standard for the injection from the position of RA1. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot. Here we can watch the detector response in live. This is the highest and largest peak at our target time 5.7 minutes. First test is done. Now the second test is running. Auto sampler is taking 20 microliter sample solution for the injection. Go to the UV section to watch the online plot of our sample. We are looking for the detector response at 5.7 minutes. We have got a small peak at 5.7 minutes. Sodium benzoid analysis is done. Now we will analyze the chromatogram. Let's open the sequence to see the chromatogram. You can see the peak of sodium benzoid 100 ppm standard at 5.7 retention time. Note the area for using it in the calculation. In case of the sample, you can see a peak at the same position of standard, so this peak can also be considered as sodium benzoid. Note the peak area of sodium benzoid in sample.
Let's calculate the sodium benzoate concentration in our tested sample. Sodium benzoate standard concentration C1 is 100 ppm. Area of 100 ppm sodium benzoate standard A1 is 2086.06. Area of sodium benzoid in the sample A2 is 14590.97. Sample width W is 5.12 grams. Volume of first sample dilution is 50 ml. Volume of second sample dilution is also 50 ml. Let's find the dilution factor by using this equation. Now we will find the sodium benzoate concentration using the equation given in the left side of the board. By solving the equation, we get the sodium benzoate concentration in our sample is 3420.9 ppm.